it's a while since we saw you. I think the last time we saw you, the interview was dominated by, by your medical uh, issues. Yeah, um, yeah, it was. So it was 2006, I think it was, first of all, wasn't it? The, 2006 uh, the first. was the first one. The second one, 2007, that was the one that almost ended my life. Mm. I thought, well, actually, after the first one, I thought it had gone. Yeah. I went to bed one night. Um, it had grown back, mm. uh, hemorrhaged in four places, and I was being carted out of the house by two paramedics and that's pretty much all I can remember about that one An <laughs> until I started radiotherapy obviously. Yeah. And incredibly frightening for you and, and your family watching you go through something like that. Um, Especially the kids. Yeah, know. gosh. Absolutely. Well there's one of the, because the, the, the album that you, uh, you're you releasing now, yeah. um, it's, is it the first time that you've written some of the tracks? Yeah, the suggestion of my uh, producer to actually write something new so the first the first kind of subject matter that I got onto was writing about you know my relationship with the kids during that that, that particular time. And the one, the one track is I'm Alive, isn't yeah. it? And that was so emotional for you that you had it, you've had difficulty recording it. Yeah, I mean, in many respects, I found recording it and making that track quite cathartic yeah. because, you know, I, I felt like I got all that angst and all the anxiety of that period of time off my chest and, you know, writing about, you know, my relationship with my kids and how that actually developed over the, that period of time and, and at the end of it, you know, the outcome being, mm -hmm. you know, I'm alive. Not just I survived, but we survived. You're lying in your hospital bed in intensive care. You open your eyes, the kids are there, and that's when you think, oh, my God, I'm alive. Yeah, you know, when, when, um, when I came round after the second operation and um, <laughs> I remember my eyes flickering open in intensive care, and I saw these two white shadows at, at the end of the bed. And I opened my eyes and I thought, oh, right, so I did make it to heaven. That's nice. Oh. And then I realised it was the kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was like, oh, tears rolling down my face. And yeah. when you go through something like that, and you, you wouldn't wish it upon anyone, of course you wouldn't, but we've, we've spoken to people on this sofa that said you, when you survive something like yeah. that, it changes you so intrinsically. Oh. But in a way, in a very, in a very positive way, yeah. actually. Without question, you know, my relationship with my family, my friends, my kids, has intensified and my love of life and everything. You know, I wake up each morning, e each day is a gift and it's a great feeling to have that, you know. I've got family working for me now, my, my sisters, uh, my business manager, my daughter travels around with me. This is Rebecca, like, isn't Yeah, it? Rebecca's my assistant, she's how over nice. there now, so. Uh, yeah, so how does it, how does it work, having, having your daughter as your assistant? Oh, it's good, you know, we have a glass of wine in the evening and watch, uh, watch movies and together. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it, it's a great, it's a great feeling. It's, the reason I mentioned good. that is because uh, my, my my eldest Molly is yeah. uh, works in my management company, um, and she's looking after YouTubers now. And yeah. but for a time, she looked after me, and she phoned me up, and she said, uh, "You're called for uh, for ten o'clock tomorrow for something I was doing." And I said, "Oh, I'm not in the studio till four, Molly. I'll, um, I, I'll tell them I'll go in at 12. Yeah. She went, "No, no, you're called at ten. So I said, "No, no, no. Tell them I'll go in at twelve. And she said. <laughs> Why don't you just do as you're told? <laughs> and I said, we have a very, f yeah, we have to find a line here between daughter and manager. Uh, yeah, well, it, it's not too dissimilar with me because, like, you know, I do not do mornings usually. I'm a bit <laughs> rock and roll in that respect. So she's ringing me, you know, at like, say, I don't know, half six, half seven to get up for the morning TVs. Dad, you need to get up. <laughs> I love right. it. It's like total role reversal. Here, so, isn't it? it is complete role yeah. reversal. That's that's exactly so. The right. tour's coming up as well. As yeah. you're going to be going global. Tour. Oh yeah, it's uh, it, it's the dream come true for me because the uh, the American the American dreams kicking back in. Because mm. obviously early on in my career, I had some great success over there. We had a number one album and and did incredibly yeah. well. And then when the wheels fell off the wagon five, six years into my career, I've not really been able to do a lot of travelling because of, you know, it took a long time to recover from it. But now I'm back on the road again and singing better than I've ever sung and happier than I've ever been. Um, married now as well. Yes, new wife. congratulations. Although she's going to absolutely kill me. Why? Mm -hmm. What have you done? I forgot to put my wedding ring oh, on. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! She'll be watching, screaming at me. Yeah, um, she will. Well, but, she yeah, will. you know, getting back into the States and we're, we're selling tickets over there. We've got concerts, TV, big plan for the release of the record as well. So and I well, never thought it was going to happen. Will again. Donald Trump be introducing you on stage like he has done previously? Um, Probably not, no. <laughs> so when did that happen? That was a... Cause... 2002, that was. Oh, right, yeah. okay. I mean, there's so been way a, before I, any of this happened. I've met yeah. a few presidents. Yeah, yes. I mean, it, it was a long time ago. I did a big PBS television special in, in the United States and uh, 
a big show. We had special guests on and everything, and he asked if he could introduce me onto the stage, and I says, all right, then. <laughs> Without knowing where that was all going to Yeah, exactly. Out. You know what? Never in my wildest dreams, and I don't think anyone's wildest dreams in 2002 would we have expected, you know, this guy to become president, the president Trump. of the United States. No. And, and, but he's not the only president that you've met. No, no. Um, I've sung for Obama. Um, I've sung for uh, Bush as well. Uh, I did a, a, a big concert for him at the Ford Theatre, which is where Lincoln got assassinated. Although, if I was a president, I wouldn't be going there for a gig, that's for sure. <laughs> no.